In this problem, we're given the heights of presidents and the heights of their opponent, and we want to determine if um, being taller is an advantage um, for presidential candidates. So what we're doing is we're taking this sample information and we're going to determine um, for each president, were they taller than their opponent or not? And we're going to find the proportion of presidents who were taller than their opponents. So I'm going to go through this list that we have from the data. And we can start with President Carter, who was 177, what, centimeters tall, I guess? And his opponent was 183 centimeters tall, so Carter was not taller, so we're not going to count him. And then I tried Polk, and he was not taller. Buchanan was taller, so I'm going to oops, try to put a little dot next to Buchanan. Okay. Um, Garfield was not. Taft was. So we check him. Um, Harrison. Cleveland was a tie, so we're not going to select him. Teddy Roosevelt was taller. Van Buren was not. Nixon is taller. Harrison was not. George Herbert Walker Bush was taller. President Reagan was taller. President Harding was taller. Wilson was not. Truman was, Jackson was, George W. Bush was not taller, McKinley was not, and Franklin Roosevelt was. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. So I have 11 successes out of 20. So that's my proportion, 11 out of 20. Now I need to find um, the confidence interval. And so I'm going to use the graphing calculator app for that. And um, we're going to use one prop Z interval for that. Okay. So I put um, 11 in for my number of successes, 20 in for N, which is the number of trials, and then my confidence level is 95%. So we're told that right there. Um, and when we calculate, then we get our result, which is 0 0.33197 to 0.76803. So that is our 95% confidence interval for that um, problem.